I want to run a promotion in my business and I want to use a webinar to help to promote my business and to get more leads and more prospects and eventually more customers. So I have this webinar set up in GoToWebinar and I want to be able to push it out and, uh, and allow people to register that way. But I also want to be able to do all of the automation and send the reminder emails and have all, have all the registration stuff happen in Infusionsoft. So I don't want to have to have send them to my, my GoToWebinar registration form. I don't want the reminders to come out of GoToWebinar. I want all of that to come out of Infusionsoft. Um, and then afterwards, I want to send emails to the attendees and to the non-attendees out of Infusionsoft and not out of GoToWebinar. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into plus this and I'm going to add a GoToWebinar integration feature. Now, the way that I'm going to configure this first is by choosing the webinar that I want to run, which is this Footlight Sales webinar. And then I'm going to configure the feature to run the actions that I want. The first thing that I want it to do is to pull the join link back into um, a field that I'm going to create, which is called webinar join link. So this is the field I'm going to merge into my emails in Infusionsoft. I don't need to pull back the title or the start date and time because I'm just running this as a one-off webinar. I'm just going to write that into the emails. And then I want to track who attended the webinar. So I want plus this to go back and get the information about who attended the webinar 30 minutes after the webinar ends. Okay, this is set to get it 90 minutes after the webinar ends. So I'm going to change this to 30 minutes. And at 10.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, the uh, plus this is going to go get the attendee data. And what, that, what it's going to do is it's going to apply tags to the people that showed up and to the people that didn't show up. So I'm going to choose first from the apply this tag to attendees field. I'm going to choose the tag that I want to apply to the attendees, which is attended webinar. And then I want to apply a tag to the people that didn't attend, which is didn't attend webinar or missed webinar. Now, I'm not going to worry about configuring the additional options because I don't need to worry about any of that. I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be my Footlight Sales Webinar, and I'm going to click Add Feature. Now I just need to copy this URL from Plus This, and I'm going to go create a campaign inside Infusionsoft that's going to allow me to use this feature and auto-register people for the webinar. So first, I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be my Footlights Sales Webinar. Now I'm going to set this up with a registration form that they're going to use out of Infusionsoft. So the form will be here. This will be register for webinar. Then I need to add a sequence, which is going to register them and send the reminder emails. So inside this sequence, first, we're going to run an HTTP post process. And we're going to drop in uh, the URL into this post. Okay, so that's actually going to handle the auto registration. I'm going to rename this to, so that it indicates what is, what's happening here. Now, because we are using uh, Infusionsoft forms and not GoToWebinar forms, I actually need to go back into GoToWebinar and change the registration settings from asking for all this information to not asking for it, because we no longer need to ask for that information here because we're going to ask for it in Infusionsoft and we don't need to send all that information over. So we're going to re remove the checkboxes from everything else and then we're going to save the changes. So that'll just make sure that we don't need to, to deal with that. So inside the sequence, we're now going to add the reminder emails. The first thing we need to do is make sure that plus this has enough time to actually run the registration and then put the information back into Infusionsoft. So we're going to implement a 15 minute delay timer. And then we're going to send the welcome email. Now we're going to configure this email to send them the information about their webinar when it starts and, and actually give them their link. So we're going to say, And then we're going to, inside this email, we actually need to have a place for the, to put the join link. So we're going to say, here is your link. And then we're going to merge in the join link uh, field that we created and that we're using from the site on Plus This, which is this webinar join link. Okay, so once we have that configured, uh, we can give it a subject, we can make it ready, we can configure that all ready to go. 
And then we're going to set up a new line of automation for the rest of the emails. We want to make sure we send an email uh, immediately before, like the day before, um, so we could set up a date timer to go the day before, and we can do all that kind of stuff, okay? So that's the first step. Next, we need to have this also configured to handle when the people actually attend the webinar or if they don't attend the webinar, okay? So first thing we're going to do is kind of resituate these things a little bit. Move this down. And we're going to have a goal for attended and a goal for didn't attend. Okay, so this one will this one will be attended, and this one will be missed. Okay, we'll connect these up to the campaign. And now we're going to connect these two to sequences that are going to be dealing with uh, content that we want to send specifically to the people that, that showed up and to the people that didn't show up. And then we just load content into these two sequences. This sequence will be for just for the attendees, obviously. This sequence will be for the non-attendees. And you can add any other pieces to this that you want. The nice thing is, once you've registered them for the webinar using this process inside the sequence, you don't actually have to do anything else. The uh, plus this will automatically go at the certain specified day and time and apply the tags, which will then push them forward in the sequence this way. The things to remember are make sure that you remove the additional registration options from GoToWebinar and make sure that you have a timer between the registration process and sending out the first email. And then you'll be good to go. Just configure all the emails and hit publish and you're good to go. Mm -hmm.